When we think of Puerto Rico, we assume that it has always existed under its current name and its current culture. However, way before the island was Europeanized or conquered by the Spanish, it had a unique thriving culture. The previous inhabitants of Puerto Rico lived on the island at least a thousand years before the arrival of the Spanish. According to some scholars, the Taino, as they were known, were Ararat speakers who originated from the center of the Amazon basin, which is more or less where Venezuela and Colombia are today. It's important to note that the Taino name was given to them by the Spanish. In reality, we don't really know what they called themselves, but we do know that they were a subgroup of the Ararat people and they called the island Borinquen, which is where we get Boricua from. Boricua, for those that don't know, is another name for Puerto Rican. When the Spanish arrived on the island in the early 1500s, there were approximately 20,000 to 70,000 Taino living on the island. They live in agricultural societies ruled by caciques with fixed settlements and a matrilineal system of kinship and inheritance. Their religion centered on the worship of zemis, which were sculptural objects which housed the deity or ancestral spirit. It was thought that the Taino population in Puerto Rico was completely eradicated soon after the arrival of the Spaniards due to disease, maltreatment, and slavery. However, several DNA studies have put that myth to rest. In 2001, Juan Carlos Martinez Cruzado of the University of Puerto Rico analyzed modern Puerto Ricans and found substantial amounts of Native American ancestry in their mitochondrial genomes, a subset of DNA that's inherited from mothers. From this study, he concluded that the Taino contribution to the current population is considerable. However, that study only proved that it was indigenous to the Americas, not specifically Puerto Rico. However, in the last few years, Maria Nieves Colon, an anthropologist geneticist at Arizona State University, has worked to wrest tiny fragments of DNA from ancient remains from three archaeological sites on the island. Along with her colleagues, she acquired around 124 skeletal remains, which all dated between 500 and 1300 AD. They searched these remains for genetic fragments and managed to completely decipher the mitochondrial genomes from 45 pre-contact people and partial nuclear genomes from two of them. Now, keep in mind, this was a very difficult task considering DNA breaks down quickly and easily in tropical conditions. The results, however, confirm that these indigenous remains in Puerto Rico were strongly connected to Amazonian groups from Venezuela and Colombia and more than likely originated from that region. They also contain genetic evidence connecting pre-colonial populations with modern ones. The team found that 45 in mitochondrial genomes fell into 29 distinctive clusters. Most of these have never been detected in modern day people across the Caribbean and may well have disappeared, but three of them did survive. They're still around in the genomes of today's Puerto Ricans and only in Puerto Ricans. Since then, several more DNA studies have yielded surprising results. Those results showed that at least 61% of Puerto Ricans have Taino ancestry, and that ancestry is between 10 to 20% of their DNA. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Please hit the like button, share, don't forget to subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more videos.